Hey, this is Andrew Brown, and we are taking a look at Git repos. So these represent the reference to a remote location where a copy of your repo is hosted. So when I say remote, Git remote, I'm saying remote reference or remote ref. You might see those terms uh, used all over the place. Uh, you can have multiple remote entries uh, or remote references for your Git repo. And the most common one you're gonna see is called origin. It's almost always uh, there, uh, everybody seems to use it. It indicates the central or golden repo everyone is working from and represents the source of truth. Uh, the remote entries or references are stored in your .git config. We don't really talk about this .git folder in any of the slides, but the .git folder is how you know that your project is a uh, has a, a git repo in it because it needs that folder uh, to initialize a git repo. We'll look at that in the quick and dirty crash course. Um, so in here, in the config file, you can see we have remote defined. So this format of a file is called a TOML file. Um, so anytime you see those square braces and then definitions, that's usually a TOML file. But I'm just gonna get my pen tool out here. But the idea here is we're saying we, uh, we have a remote named origin and the URL is pointing to our GitHub repo. This part says how it should fetch. Uh, I'm not gonna get into that right now. And then down below, we can see we have some branches that we are tracking and they're pointing to remote origin. And then they, uh, they're they saying that we want to uh, merge um, uh, there. So hopefully that is clear. Notice remote names can be referenced. So we have origin up here and it's referencing this up here. Okay, so I'm just going to <laughs> clear my annotations here so this is a little bit more clear. And there are a bunch of git remote commands you should know. I don't remember the most, like the git remote add, I don't ever remember that one because often when you clone, it's going to add them anyway. And so usually you pull them from GitHub, but you should know push, you should know pull, you should know fetch. Uh, and when you are creating branches, you should know um, how to uh, push upstream. And we'll talk about upstream and downstream next, okay?